Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will see vector grouping of a three-phase transformer. And in this part, we will see some of the basics of the vector grouping. Let's start with a single phase transformer. Any transformer is used to change the voltage levels. So any transformer will have different voltage levels. One is high voltage, another one is low voltage. I use capital letter to represent high voltage winding things and small letter to represent low voltage winding. And dotted terminals are suffixed with two. Here also dotted terminal is suffixed with two. Undotted terminals are suffixed with one. The same convention are used throughout the vector grouping. Please observe this carefully. Now, as we know, if this high voltage winding is excited with the supply, there is a self-induced EMF in this and there is a mutual induced EMF in this low voltage winding. We know these two induced EMFs will be in the same phase. This is a high voltage windings induced EMF, this is a low voltage windings induced EMF. They are in the same phase. Whatever the phase of high voltage winding, low voltage winding also, coil also will have the same phase. It doesn't matter what is the polarity of capital A2. It may be positive. If capital A2 is positive, small a2 also will be positive. If capital A2 is negative, small a2 is also negative. Okay. This is key point to understand. Let me repeat. EMF induced in both high voltage winding and low voltage winding will have same phase. Now, let's see different possibilities to connect a three phase windings. We have three coils. They can be connected in star or delta. If you notice, it's not just these two, we can have even more. Yes, this is also a star and it is also a star. But these two are different. Here, connection terminals are A2, B2, C2. Here, connection terminals are A1, B1, C1. And if you see this delta and other four deltas, they are different from each other, though they are delta. So, we can have six distinct configurations of a three phase connection. Let's see one by one. In the first case, if this high voltage is supplied, this high voltage winding is supplied with the balanced three phase input, then there is an induced EMF in each and every coil which is also balanced which means 120 degrees displaced. So we have three induced EMFs, 120 degrees displaced to each other, A1, B1, C2, sorry, A1, B1, C1 are connected together, A1, B1, C1 are connected together, A2, B2, C2 are the connection terminals, yes. Next, second one, here the connection terminals are a1, B1, C1. That's why I've taken A1, B1, C1 here. Now, they have 120 degrees displaced and A2, B2, or C2 are connected together. Connected together. So this is for second star configuration. Next. This is a form of delta. Here the connection terminals are A2, B2, C2. So I had taken A2, B2, C2 here. 
and all these three a winding induced emf b winding induced emf c winding induced emf will be 120 degrees displaced because this is fed from a three phase balance supply so in between a2 and b2 a2 and b2 coil a is connected so from here a2 and b2 i'll connect coil a and if you see a1 b2 are shorted a1 b2 are same next between b2 and c2 coil b is connected between b2 and this c2 coil b is connected between c2 and a2 coil c is connected so let's connect between a2 C to coil C. As we just take the terminals A2, B2, C2, I can just ignore the C1, B1, A1. I can just ignore simply. So this is a vector diagram for this. Now, what is the direction of phase to neutral voltage? It's a delta connection, we don't have a neutral. But we can form a virtual star and hence a neutral, like this. I have drawn a vector here. As this terminal is A2, I have drawn here A winding. And this is B2, this is B. This is C2, this is C. And this is our neutral point. Next. Another delta connection terminals are A1, B1, C1, A1, B1, C1 between A2, sorry, between A1 and B1, coil B is connected. Let's connect between A1 and B1, coil B, between B1 and C1, coil C is connected. Let's connect between B1 and C1, coil C. And between C1 and A1, coil A is connected. C1 and A1, coil A is connected. We found. Now the virtual neutral, yes, this is neutral, and this is vector A. Next. Third configuration of delta. A2, B2, C2, A2, B2, C2, between A2 and B2, what is connected? Yes, tell me. Yeah, B, B, next, B2 to C2, C is connected, C2 to A2, A is connected, and respective virtual neutral. Of windings A. Fourth configuration connection terminals are A1, B1, C1. Between A1 and B1, A1 and B1, coil A is connected. B1 and C1, coil B is connected. C1 and A1, coil C is connected. So now we understand how to draw for a primary side vector diagram for a different configurations. We will see in the next part both primary as well as the secondary. Thank you.